Right, so the test results of this back-to-back uh, uh, -back ride uh, with the alternator bike results on the right and the hub motor uh, results on the left. So there was an identical course, identical times a day, uh, no traffic uh, to speak of, um, and very little in the way of having to stop. So seven and a half miles was uh, 17 minutes and 35 plus or minus three seconds. So 25.4, 25.3 mile per hour. And mostly that's going along at 30 um, on the alternator bike um, and then 28 to 30 on the hub motor. Now the hub motor is at full throttle um, whereas the alternator bike has got a lot, lot more to give. Um, so the 10% hill that I had to go up, the alternator bike just shot up there, no problem. Uh, whereas the hub motor uh, really struggled <laughs> to the point that I was a little bit concerned I might have to pedal but uh, I didn't uh, just to keep the test uh, fair right so recharge was alternator bike 430 watt hours and that compared to 285 watt hours for the hub motor um, I think the hub motor recharge is high because that battery has got a higher voltage in it now uh, than it did before I took it out uh, so um, it was not balanced very well because I have this 48 volt tap um, and it seems to have balanced at about 1 volt higher so that 285 is probably a little bit lower but anyway um, okay so do the maths the bottom line um, so what that gives you on the right alternator was uh, 1460 watts average which is about 2 horsepower uh, of electric don't know what that equates to in mechanical um, but on the left uh, we're talking 969 uh, watts average which is uh, 1.3 horsepower uh, electric so we're talking about 65% uh, uh, um, of the alternator power was used by the hub motor or to put it another way the alternator uses about 50% more and I think the gap is actually a little bit more. So the alternator bike, um, I thought the efficiency was down. Uh, now some of it is due to the, the heat uh, in the alternator which was distinctly warmer uh, than the hub motor. Um, but also um, there's the chains rattling around. I mean the alternator bike makes an absolute racket. Whereas the hub motor bike is wispy silent. And it's so <laughs> that's why I call it the stealth bike. Um, so there you go, if you want ultimate power we've got the alternator um, if you want to get there quick but if you actually want to get home on the same battery then the hub motor is the boy um, so uh, I'm going to try another test uh, another time uh, more like 20 miles an hour um, which I can do <laughs> easier because um, I'm not having to rag it uh, so much um, and we'll have another comparison um, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, I see a bigger gap uh, as well because the hub motor was, uh, I think, uh, has this um, this balance effect as well. Uh, I may redo that test, but maybe not because it's uh, it was a bit hard on it. Uh, full blast all the way for 20 minutes, 17 minutes. Okay, well, until the next test.